And good morning everyone and welcome back to a rainy travel vlog from Costa Rica. So I'm here in Costa Rica living the RV life as you guys can clearly see. I am just pouring myself a morning coffee here. We're lucky enough to camp in a place that is under the roof. This is very nice because it gives you the room to stay outside the camper too as it gets a little bit moist inside there. Guys, check out this avocado I picked this morning. These avocados are just falling from the trees at the camp we're staying in. A uh, really, really cool place. The owner is a vegan and really believes in living off the land. So he's been touring me around and I've been looking at different fruits and, and stuff that he lives up here. Man, Costa Rica is a really, really cool country. If you guys are interested in the van life and everything that goes on, stick along for the video and check out the other videos from Costa Rica as well. We're here for two weeks. This is a trip we've been dreaming about our entire lifetime, me and my partner. So we're really stoked to be here. Now being in Costa Rica during the rainy season obviously comes with its own sets of challenges. Now we do have underwater housing for our action cameras. But currently I'm shooting on a big, big camera and I'm also doing a lot of stuff on my phone, mainly for Instagram and other social media platforms. So I'm really stoked to show you guys uh, our partner, which we've been working with for a while, Cali Case. These are protective underwater phone cases. They work really well in Costa Rica, right? It doesn't have to be underwater, really. It protects your phone from moist and from constant erosion, especially due being here in the country where we're so close to the, the seashore all the time. Salt erosion on our phones making sure that we don't ruin our phones on this trip and we can take our phones inside these cases we can go into the waterfall so we really never have to worry okay so if you guys have seen it before you know the drill i'm gonna link a link in the description below where you can get a percentage off of these guys these are perfect for your next adventure your next vacation i mean maybe you're going to costa rica don't forget one of these and make sure you get that content when you are traveling to those remote locations which we're going to today. It's gonna to be a bumpy ride, but I'm excited to take you there. You don't really need that much expensive gear nowadays. Your phones have an amazing camera. They shoot 4K. Uh, we've been experimenting with shooting some vlogs on the phones and you know, at sometimes people can't even tell the difference. So I'm gonna show you guys how this works. It has a magnet and it's just easy lock like this. There's no need to do that folding. Like maybe you've had one of those that's kind of annoying in the long run. Every time you're gonna get your phone, you have to do that. And it has a window in the back from the camera and it has a large window in the front. And it's just heat transferring plastic. Basically, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll stick my phone in like that and I will seal it up here. Easy, <laughs> I'm good to go. If I need to take it out, I've, I've done that in two seconds. Personally, I like the white one because it sticks out on all the clothing I have. So it's just easy to always find it. And you know, with this strap they have to put around your neck, I can still move my hands and, and be free that way. And just to show you guys how good this thing is, right? The heat transferring plastic. So I'll just easily set up for a video like that. And we're good to go. Hey, let me, go, let me run around the car real quick, take some footage for you, so you guys can see how easy this is. I also tipped about this in my previous collaboration video with Cali Case that if you click up here, you can actually choose 4K and 60 frames a second. You're gonna get a lot better image on your phone if you do that. And this is perfect for people who wanna get into vlogging, or you're just going on a vacation somewhere. You don't have to be as adventurous as us to really use these guys. I am gonna bring this home for my mom, you know, just going to the beach is perfect. It actually floats too. It will never sink to the bottom. It will always go in the surface and with these colorful, uh, cases, you know, you'll always find it. Yeah. Guys, Ava surprised me yesterday with a luxury villa stay here in Costa Rica. And I haven't been vlogging because everything just happened so freaking fast. But look at this amazing place we have been staying in. It was quite the contrast from living in an RV to just suddenly living in a very nice villa in the middle of the jungle. I'm gonna show you guys the view from our porch here. There are monkeys jumping back and forth. Uh, it was really something memorable and this was kind of a pre-birthday gift from her to me. <laughs> so thank you, Ava. You're welcome, how you like it? <laughs> I really, really liked it. I'm just gonna give them a quick like here. It's like, we even have a private kitchen we can use. We have a large couch, bed in the back, and then here's the view. You can see all the way down to the ocean. Okay, so it's a little bit foggy, but check this place out. The fog almost just makes it like a special effect because it's so moisty here. 
Guys, we are about to have breakfast here. And my camera is still fogging because it's so humid. Coffee and Costa Rican juice is included. And breakfast is also included in this uh, stay that we're having right now. It's so cool. Like this place, the architecture of this place is really, really, really spectacular. Like they also uh, believe in uh, sustaining the nature. So they don't cut the trees when they build the buildings. And it makes it so, so nice to look at. You did it again. You found a nice place. I'm happy. Thank you. breakfast Alva has decided that we're gonna stay on the edge get some sun okay guys we are lounging up all all the way at the edge and there's like an infinity pool right behind us here the whole restaurant's over there and then later we're gonna go down to the beach if we have time our checkout is at 11 before we're gonna continue our RV life it's peaceful I really love that tree yeah beautiful I suddenly became a, a tree lover a tree lover I've always loved trees, but now I think I'm more fascinated by it. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it comes with aging. <laughs> Okay, after spending the morning by the pool, we have now dressed up and we are going to head down to the beach and I'm pretty excited for that. They have boogie services here on the hotel. I think it's going to take around 10 minutes to drive all the way down there because it's quite a distance. I'm hoping it's a pretty beach and that I can fly my drone there. Yeah. Hello. Yes, that's our handsome driver. Hey. Jorge. Here for you. Jorge, right? Yes, sir. Jorge. Madame. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Welcome. you. We take the precautions for the COVID, you know, yes. but this is me. Welcome. Please have a seat <laughs> and let's you. go to the beach, you know? Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Roller coaster in the middle of the jungle. <laughs> Check it out, this view right here. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I deleted all the pictures of you I had on my Instagram. Wow, girl. High five. <laughs> I'm so happy we're the only ones here, no? Yeah. It's like as if we rented the beach to ourselves. Guys, this place is epic and I was able to drone, which made me really happy. Just outside of the airport geo-restriction zone. That's something you need to always consider. But the shots looks cool. I haven't felt this climate since last time I was in Brazil. And it's just something else. In the dense jungle, it's so tropical and, and the way the, the temperature of the water... <laughs> I'm parallel! <laughs> really really nice and we have this I mean the resort we're staying at has this entire beach privately what a life But my mind is watching slideshows of our memories It's late at night, I know you're gone And I can't sleep cause you moved on I wish we'd try cause maybe you'd be here tonight I 
hope you, some of you guys are getting uh, getting the itchy feet that you wanna, guys want to travel. There are different ways you can do Costa Rica, but I do believe that doing an RV experience, which we're doing, is very, very important. And then you can splurge yourself, you know, every once in a while. Hey guys, we have now gone all the way up to the salt water pool. I've been shooting some photos of Ave. Actually, I think this one is a lot more pretty than the big one. The view here is so much more nice. Careful, I just get Okay, yeah, I see it. I'll just shoot from here then. Okay. Hola there. Check this place out. This is such a nice place, man. I'm going to Jacuzzi. What about here? Let's go there later. All right. She wants to go to the Jacuzzi, guys. Never stop a woman from going into the Jacuzzi. <laughs> it's supposed to be hot. Nice. What a life. Hola, papi. This resort is so You guys, we are done shooting photos. Ava is gonna. I came here like a. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Forever young. Photos of him because he's such a hunk of dude. That's my fiance. Thanks for building my self esteem. Yeah, because you are macho papa. Yeah. All right guys, we are back on the road, but there's a huge traffic jam happening in here in Costa Rica today. So we're not getting past uh, Haku, Haku today. We're stuck, we've been stuck here for about 30 minutes now and I don't know what's gonna happen. There's ambulances and stuff just flying by us. What I've noticed is that, you know, Costa Rica is a very mountainous region and there's kind of one road going through the country, uh, at least by the coast here. So I guess one accident is all it takes to stop the entire flow of uh, trucks coming probably from Panama through Central America and going up to Mexico. Uh, yeah, so that's I think that's what's happening now. Huge lines everywhere. Not sure what's gonna happen. Anyway, we had lunch, so we're good, we're good. And then we're gonna drive from here three hours to our campsite tonight. And we're making our way up the coast of Costa Rica now. Yeah! <laughs> Good morning! Wow, yesterday was quite an adventure and I wasn't able to vlog that much because I am driving all the time. If you want to know it in detail, then check out Ava's video. But long story short, we were looking for a place to camp for hours and we finally found one. So you guys can see, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so this is where we slept for tonight. It was pretty nice here, man. Like it, the jungle is right behind us here. There's like crickets and sounds and it's quite quite nice and, and quiet and it's 6 a.m. right now we have some cool plants today we're gonna hit up another waterfall here in Costa Rica before we're gonna drive down to Santa Teresa we're gonna go and visit La Point surf camp so I am pretty excited for that the so guys come along for yet another Pura Vida beautiful day here in Costa Rica Let's get it on I'm excited I'm a little bit tired I have a coffee that I'm boiling inside on the hot stove kicking up and kicking pretty soon let's go We made it here to Catarata Waterfall. This is a beautiful waterfall. I was just able to drone it from the air and I could see that it's kind of like just nested in between all these green fields. Really beautiful. There's a volcano in the back. It is a little bit cloudy day, but hey, I think that only brings the mood out, the true mood of the waterfalls. I'm pretty excited. We're gonna go down there. I think it is about a five minutes hike. Nothing big today, but enjoy that. What do I pack when I go to a waterfall? Not much. I pack my entire camera bag right here. Bring a GoPro. Uh, protective phone case, some cameras, the vlog cam, obviously, and a drone because this is not a national park. So we're able to drone here. And I think we're gonna get some really good shots. Okay, here begins the trek. I'm excited. Woo. What's nice is that it's paved, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and guys, don't forget to bring mosquito repellent when you come to Costa Rica. You can easily buy these. We got this at Walmart earlier today. It just keeps the itchy bites away. Like that's 
very important. <laughs> I love the feel of the jungle. I can hear the waterfalls already. This waterfall is absolutely insane. It's so good. It's so easy to get to too. I don't know if you guys can see me. It is really uh, moisty here. A lot of uh, water from the waterfall coming in. Hello. <laughs> you guys have to know that this thing is super slippy. All right, now Ava is gonna get me some shots. Here you go, be It's careful. gonna be today. Wow guys, we just finished that waterfall. What an amazing place. It is really crazy how beautiful it was and how easy it was to get to. This is something that, you know, you don't have to be a professional hiker to get down to this waterfall. Five minutes trek. Yes, I see a lot of senior citizens yeah. that come here. So maybe my grandma can can right. check this one out too. It's a very family friendly hike, I would yeah. say. And then there's a big beach there. Uh, people are bringing beach chairs, hanging out the entire day, almost treating it like a beach. It's pretty cool. It's shallow all the way into the waterfall. So you can step all the way out. There was a little fish that was biting my toe when I was out there, but it wasn't trying to hurt me. So I'm fine, I'm alive. And the plan now is that we're gonna drive to Santa Teresa. We're gonna go to La Pointe surf camp. That's gonna be a separate vlog guys. I really love to surf and it's been a while since I've been able to have proper instructors and, and good waves, consistent waves. And I think we will find that there at Santa Teresa. But hey, how cool is this trip so far with Connector here in Costa Rica? It is a blast. We've been posting a lot of different stuff over at Connector 2, some of the best imagery. I will link it in the description if you guys want to check it out. But this is going to end this travel vlog. There's going to be more. So, you know, remember to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Ava Loving It. She's making more about the van life, as I mentioned earlier. Good Machu Papa, the name of the car. We are having so much fun and thank you so much for watching the video. We will see you on the next travel vlog. Until then, and a uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye from Costa Rica. Arriba. Hey, pura vida.